Welcome everyone, and it's good to see you. I am Nick Mazuka, and it is Sunday Morning Video Games, where I'm doing a close read of a game. Yesterday I finished up Half-Life 2, and uh, today I'm going to be moving on to Half-Life 2 Episode 2. Uh, several years ago I played Episode 1 and did not like it all that much. So I'm, I heard that episode two is far better, and also to round out sort of like my Half-Life 2 experience, I decided to give it a go this morning. Uh, if you'll notice, uh, my voice is a little creaky cracky because I am currently fighting off some really interesting uh, super virusy bug thing. So please excuse that and. I'll make my commentary uh, whenever, but yeah, enjoy the show. So supposedly we are going to the White Forest, which is the, I don't know, we'll find out more, but supposedly this is a better, more interesting experience than Half-Life 2 Episode 1 was. You just Hold on a put your 9mm you away in your chest. Okay. Let's oh, hey. It still works. It's a gravity gun. Our favorite stand part back. of Half Life 2. I'll Here stand goes. there. Ah, well, you know. A magical gravity gun can do wow. everything. I forgot what a kick this thing has. Here, you take the gravity gun. You're better with it than I am. Okay. When I couldn't find you, I got... <laughs> I know, I know. I shouldn't have worried. Well, we should keep moving. I'm sure the Combine haven't forgotten about us. I heard Vortigons a few minutes ago. Maybe they're still around. We've got a long way to go to find my dad. It'd be nice to have some extra help. Okay. Where do we want to go? Okay, grab the gun. Ah. So it looks like we'll be using the gravity gun. A bunch. I am not sure how I feel about this. Mainly because Episode oh One the Citadel. What the hell is happening? Mainly because Episode One leaned on the gravity gun so much. I was supposed to look. Okay. More 
scripted sequences. I mean, the, this looks beautiful. This looks absolutely lovely. This looks beautiful. Are you okay? But like the first days all over again. Oh, we're getting exposition. We Okay, but going back to the whole gravity gun thing is that I hadn't noticed this before. is that Half-Life 2 Episode 1 really leaned on the gravity gun and made you use it all the time to the exclusion of your other weapons. And really, if you can believe it, it made the gravity gun a chore rather than a fun, amazing little tool. Oh, and there we are, we're seeing little signifiers of what we've seen before. Uh, and is this going to be... Uh, Safe haven it ain't. Hey Alex, guess what, we've got ant lions and zombies. You have an automatic pistol? Where the hell have you been hiding that thing? You have an automatic pistol? Where do I get one of those pistols? Really, seriously, where do I get that? Why do you, why do you get an automatic pistol and I get this stupid little gravity gun? And I can't believe that I'm actually saying, why do you get this uh, pistol and I get this magical, amazing thing? I mean, seriously. I feel gun envy right now when I have a literal impossible magic wand. We got a live one. Okay, maybe. But yeah, I feel a little bit of gun envy right now because, frankly, Wait, I don't even have... I don't even have my... Oh, hey. So, what, what... Alex, what are you doing? Let the enemies fight themselves. Conserve your bullets. And, again, where are you getting this really awesome gun? I would have, like, capped somebody in Half-Life 2 for that gun. Oh. So, what are all these? Okay. Maybe I'm... Health and ammo. Okay, a communication center. Let's oh. see if we can get out a message to my dad. Dr. Kleiner and my dad are up north at an old missile base. I hope they're still using this frequency. They're trying to help launch a... Ah, here we go. Okay, there's a lot of story Damn. going on here. What now? Hmm. If I were to... hmm. Let me see if I can get it working again. Okay, there's going to be a fair amount of plot exposition, isn't there? Hey, if you have any blinding insights into how to fix this, go for it. Oh, hey. Not sure what I did, but it worked. Now, okay, that in. pisses me off because a, a this is not really an interesting task for you to do, and that really White degrades Alex Alex's White Forest, come in. agency. White Forest, oh, hey. Alex, Alex thought she fixed something because goodness. you just plugged something in. Real? Oh. Yes. And you and didn't even get to communicate We're with okay. her. okay. We made it out of City 17. Alex. Thank God. I can hardly believe it. Don't worry, Dad. We're fine. But something really strange is happening with the Citadel. Oh yes, we've been monitoring the situation. The raw discharge of the meltdown has been focused into a coherent beam of portal energy. It's the Combine. Okay. They're trying to open another gateway. Yes, 
What you're seeing is the infancy of a super portal. If it attains full strength, it'll be the seven hour war all over again. Except this time we won't last seven minutes. My god. Gordon, what if that's why they were sending so much data from the Citadel? So that. Data? From the Citadel? In the control room. They were feeding huge volumes of data directly into the core destruction sequence. Magnuson, did you hear that? I'll bet it's the Combine Portal Code. Yes, yes, I'm not deaf. I downloaded the whole packet. They've been chasing us ever since. Well, of course they have. You see, Kleiner, it's the linchpin of all of their plans. Well, I can see that. I never Somewhere said... You are so evil. They would have had to establish a connection with the far side. What you have there, young lady, is the specific contact code for the Combine Overworld. Good God. If I am right about this, and I have no reason to doubt myself, you are carrying the very code Dr. Mossman had hoped to recover. Now, how soon can you get here? Well, we'll have to get our bearings, but we can definitely... There is no time to waste. We'll need to step up the launch schedule. And now, as soon as you get here with the signature data, we'll encode the satellite and get the damn thing into orbit. Get here as quickly as you can, you two. Dad? Dad! You're breaking up! Come in! Dad, are you there? Dad! Oh, no. oh boy. They're still tracking us. We need to keep moving. Signature imprint. Mandate sub level restrictions. Come on, this way. Okay. So let's get a move. Okay. Let's So, that's a nifty, fun little traversal puzzle of how to open doors without actually making it look like you're opening doors. I have no clue. Did you hear that? Yes, I did. We all heard that, Alex. It was a horrible, awful thing, and we are all going to regret coming in here. And also, why do you have that awesome gun and I have this little lifty object -y thingy? Shh, quiet. We're not alone. Mm, I know that. I very much know that. I played enough of these games to know that. Okay. Careful up there. I'll keep watch out here. Please tell me. I know. Trust me, I know. Ah! Oh my god. What? Ah! What? <laughs> okay. I am suitably startled. On the other hand, <laughs> what? This whole being I stuck I in place to ah, the free man. continue I am the story. To see at least you are unharmed, but the Alex fans, her condition is grave. Okay. 
Okay, that'd be cool. Um, can I... Healing her will require more than I alone can conjure. Okay. Let me summon my kin. Okay, I am enjoying the overall My creature design. My king will lead us at a sheltered location beneath the surface. We must move her there quickly. Okay. I will stabilize her if the free man will provide us with protection. Okay. Let us hurry, free man. Narratively, it is us in the mines. Narratively, this is actually pretty fun. Oh. This is narratively pretty fun because these are all things that Oh. Perhaps the Freeman can restore this elevator's functionality. Who's care, Freeman? Oh. Episode 2 is pretty solid. All of the parts where they try to convey story are actually for a first person shooter. Fairly solid. There's a lot of forcing you to stay in place. Which I am not a fan of, truth be told. Oh, hey, wait. Wait. Question. Okay, it looks like Okay. Okay, now I don't know how I feel about Okay, this whole going through 
fascinating alien. It's fun. But, once again, narratively interesting, not bad for a first person shooter to do a little plot. But, still not. Uh, That's a new enemy. First we have seen in First we've seen in a while. Which is interesting. So they are being kind enough to give us a shotgun this early. I'm not sure how to respond to that. One sense. Ah. Okay, that's nice. Uh. Okay, this is actually... Six shotgun shells. Yes, yes, I do. In that case, I am. Okay, the antlion rub as health dispenser thing. Ah, that's the you. Because I am tired of dealing with you. What? Okay. Oh, hello.
I'll admit. This is a lot more treacherous than most levels, and in some ways I actually do find the Actually, do find the use of barnacles here justified? Usually, these are. And, you know, I'm actually warming to the idea. to get a face full of shot. for huh. you idiot that's Gordon Freeman the board of said he was on the way Dr. Freeman Alex Vance is over here the board's trying to patch her up <sighs> Freeman it is well the Alex Vance clings to the margins my kin are still some distance away. For now, we must not be disturbed. Yeah, well, about that. As long as you're down here, maybe you can give us a hand. Let me show you how the analog sensors work. Got some supplies over here if you need them. Help and ammo, that sort of thing. system works before the next attack. Yep. I get you. And that's why I'm That's why Hey I'm Freeman, come on over here. I'm right ahead, you big buddy. Right hey, ahead. Gotcha. Hey, Freeman, come on over here. Yep. Hey, Freeman, come on over here. This 
sensor will light up if an ant lion's coming down this tunnel. More lights mean more ant lions. When a tunnel lights up, we move a few turrets in front of it. Pretty simple, eh, Doc? Hey, Doc. On your way here, you weren't followed, were you? Nah, let's say it, Doc. We're on edge because this place is riddled with ant lions. The board says as long as we don't step on their grubs, they shouldn't hear us this far from the next. Yeah, well, that's a theory I'd rather not test. We're down to our last two tourists, and even these are held together by bailing wire and duct tape at this point. Nice to have them in a pinch, but I wouldn't exactly trust them with my life. Hey, Griggs, you might want to show Dr. Freeman where we keep the supplies, huh? Oh, yeah, down there by the fort. Everything you need for Doc. They're coming! Oh, One line. Line. Let's move. We have to defend the board. Okay. So looks like we'll be doing the shuffle up. Okay. Once again, we are more or less just replaying the turret scene from Aliens all over again. Hey Doc, uh, you ever seen an ant lion before? Yes, many times. So, which one gets us now? Over here, Jackley! We got the bridge! We'll be okay as long as they stick to one tunnel. Dr. Freeman, you take care of the turrets! Freeman, but things were pretty quiet until you showed up. Because okay. Swarm at 24! Come on, come on, let's go! I'm coming, I'm coming! to these folks. Uh, 
we all got ten. There's hundreds of them. Hey, Doc, you cover the breach. There are twelve. We got twenty-four. What was wrong with that? better be the end because this is starting to feel a lot like the
Are grave. This will necessitate deep submersion in the vortex. Indeed, we require the larval extract. Mm. Oh, yes, the extract. extract. Yes, the what? Indeed. I will make the journey to seek the extract deep within the nest in the sacred nectarium, but I cannot hope to bring it back alone. We must remain to keep the Alex Vance alive. Please, Freeman, join me. Yes, take the yes. Freeman. So, no I is well, the one Freeman am going to be doing a combination fetch quest Follow escort Freeman. mission. Where, in all probability, the creature I am escorting probably ought to be escorting me. Mr. Lordicon, I really hope that this isn't tedious. Lead on. All right. Okay, so far, narratively, Half Life 2 has. <laughs> episode 2 has been pretty decent, but. Grim Pinata. Finish them, Freeman. I have disabled them. Now attack. Oh, so this is how. This is cool Beware and all. The acid lines. Their corrosive spray permits quick carving of rock passages, but it also serves as a strong spirits. Acid lines? Is that an actual, like, name? Okay, escort. Right. Where? 
Okay. I mean, for a funneled experience. This is this is actually pretty solid. This set of girders is almost assuredly way heavier. Okay, rocket launcher. In some ways, this reminds me of the guys from S Serious Sam.
to bet that what I have to do is... I'm willing to bet that what I have to do is weight the elevator down with these girders right here. Okay, that's an interesting idea for a physics puzzle, but it's... So we don't ride that. Fast. No, the free man has the reload button, which allows him to do incredible, amazing things such as uh, come back from death. The free man is not very smart, only because the free man is played by me. So, in RPG design, there's something known as uh, having the uh, Mary Sue NPC, where your main players feel really extraneous because the NPC that you've given to them to help them through actually is able to accomplish most of the mission all by their loads. That. Okay, train ride, train ride, train ride. Oh boy. I should not have survived that. And, well, you know, a handy dandy ladder right next to where we should. Oh. Scripted sequence. No, oh. pit would be complete without a feeling kind of. Okay, you know, I can actually see the 
the designers here were feeling a little on the board side and have just started to hang lampshades over just about all of their major design decisions. supposed to do what right here? That immense repellent device promises to cease from endless anti attacks. If the Freeman is in agreement, let us find our way to that vibratory. Okay, that gives us a direction. I'm actually taking uh, pains not to step on antlion grubs in the idea that, according to the previous. Since I'm not really necessary here, I'm just gonna, you know, go around, pick stuff up, pick stuff up. Oh, okay. They're punishing me for my. Oh.
Okay, so... Narratively, this is proficient, but... And visually, it's beautiful. Maybe if I had just gotten done with playing Half-Life 2, I'd be a little bit more impressed, but... On the whole... My overall view of things is... Half-Life? Well, you need to get some new things. Because I really don't need another... On below, heedless of our escape. Well, this is all very amusing. But we must not forget the gravity of our errand to heal the Oxlands. Wow. That isn't a better statement of just boredom. Hey, this is all amusing and all, but shouldn't we get along with the plot? Well, yeah, that's kind of how I'm feeling. Because... Oh, hey. A poignant scene. An eternity's repose. It brings peaceful thoughts, does it not? Okay, mildly ironic in that, you know, you get the sense that this person literally just blew their brains out with a shot. Okay, so... Now that I'm not... So you're about to say that I am about to walk straight into a hive with large, awful things, and it will be a pain in the butt. again making sure not to step on any grubs because supposedly that will cause the antlions to swarm. you have life too and your lack of sort of like tactile sense when it comes to where you are on ledges yeah that kind of helped oh yeah totally helped okay from below bears the scent of extract the stuff we seek lies at the bottom of this Okay, that's not a bad little puzzle right there. And that's an interesting s set of stakes of giving you this very l large and nasty creature that you'll be facing off and you are told expressly you are not allowed to kill it. No. 
and very possibly a forced failure with uh, Thank you. Okay, so stuff I have to do. Ow. Okay, so a bunch of barnacles are here. Stuff. Okay, the actual, like, construction of this is pretty fascinating with the hive stuff. And it does a pretty decent job of looking claustrophobic. I'm a little lost in here right now, and I'm not sure where the heck I'm going. I think I've been around this way about three or four times. Oh. I am not allowed to kill that, which sucks. Well, at least they have a gen. Okay, so... finding interesting is that we are more or less, if you know, like the Slender Games, Alien Isolation, various games like that, we are kind of getting an early case because what was it? this mid-2000s, mid-late-2000s, where we are literally getting a avoid the large unkillable uh, enemy. It's actually a mild preview of that. big challenge of this one is that those were s survival horror stealth games and this is a first person shooter. So yeah, that's that's me in Half-Life 2 Episode 1, or Half-Life 2 Episode 2, and just like Half-Life 2 Episode 1, 
their way of changing things up has more or less alienated me just because I don't find the central mechanic that they're forcing me to uh, endure particularly fun. So, I hate to say it, but this antlion cave, I'm tapping out. I think I've gone... I've heard that there's a truly fantastic Strider battle at the end of Half-Life 2 Episode 2. Supposedly the story gets pushed forward and there's some um, great narrative turns. But I don't care. Maybe it's just the cold medicine. Maybe it's just me being sick. Or maybe I just don't have time for this particular Biv design. This is tedious. And it isn't engaging me. I need to see some different tricks. So yeah, that's me at the end of uh, my playthrough of Half-Life 2 Episode 2. It's, I'm just not finding this challenge worth my while to continue on. I've got a whole bunch of other uh, games in my Steam queue to play. So I hope you've enjoyed this and this is me signing off.